be like if I dismiss service right now, everything would be fine. We can all just go home. Um, I want to be brief here today. There's so much to say. Uh, when you saw at the beginning of this a young woman uh, walking down the beach, That reminds me of our ladies at the church. When they see somebody in need, uh, they really do run to that person. Mm -hmm. uh, there was some running to that person last night, and some love was shown in the church last night, and it's so powerful when you pick somebody up and it's struggling, and you put them back in uh, the sea and to where that they can can live and know that they're loved and cared about. Each and every day at MCC is a very important day to Jesus, and each and every person, every lady, is important to him as well. Uh, they make a huge difference in the success of the church, and um, I personally want to thank all the ladies here. There's a lot of ladies here today, an awful lot of ladies here today, men, we need to get busy and get our men out to church. Amen. Praise God. But uh, we appreciate uh, MCC, the God and ladies do make a difference in the lives of everyone that they meet. Amen. We're going to talk a little bit about the what the world calls the starfish, but really it's the sea star. Uh, really, uh, when you think about the starfish, it's not really a fish. It's a sea star, and uh, they have a brain, but they have no brain, uh, so that's sad. And they don't have any blood, so there's uh, uh, not a lot of, uh, uh, about them that's exactly like us. But remember, when Jesus rose from the dead, he had no blood. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. He didn't need any blood. He was in a glorified body. And so, therefore, he didn't need anything like that. There's nothing more beautiful than a lady at MCC who is brave. Amen. I'm talking about someone who's ready to face danger or pain, regardless of the physical or mental uh, problems that it may bring to them. Our ladies are strong. Our ladies are bold. In other words, they're able and willing to take risks. Aren't you glad for that? Amen. Amen. Because Christ is in her life in a very big way. Sea stars can live up to 35 years. And there's approximately 2,000 species of sea stars. Now, think about that for a minute. If you take a blade of grass and try to dissect it, the roots and clear down to the bottom, you're talking about a lot of complicated things, something that you or I cannot make. But if you think about a starfish, it's much more complicated than a blade of grass, and yet God didn't just make one, he made 2,000 different species. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I'll tell you, our God is great. I believe in intelligent design. I don't think that we just happen here on earth. I believe that God has a plan. And one of these days, that plan is going to be over. As we looked at the picture, the last video uh, that we saw, uh, it shows uh, the bride of Christ. We all are collectively the bride of Christ. Remember, God is the head of Christ. Christ is the head of the church. Amen. And so that's kind of the, the power structure that we have uh, in uh, that. And uh, it's not like necessarily a normal wedding that you would have here on earth. But that one bride we saw there is going to be millions upon millions of people that have been harvested from earth by the Lord Jesus Christ over several thousand years. Amen. It's going to be a great day. There's a lot of specimens of uh, uh, sea stars. But there's a lot of specimens of God's people that he's going to collect from all over the world. He said out of every nation and out of every tongue and out of every people, God is going to bring them to the wedding. Amen. Of the Lamb. It's going to be
be a great wedding. Uh, sea stars must live in salt water. Now, you and I can't really handle much salt water. And yet Jesus said in Matthew chapter 5 and verse 13, uh, Ye are the salt of the earth. And if the salt has lost its savor, what good is it? It's good for nothing if it be thrown out by men. So uh, our MCC ladies have lots of salt in their heart and in their life, and they are a beautiful bunch of people. And even though you have all went through so very much in your lifetime, uh, and we don't want to go into all the losses that we've had, but they have been considerable, and they have been hurtful. And uh, ladies bear, I think, pain a little bit better than men do. I don't know. Uh, but I know that they love a lot. And uh, we appreciate our women. And they are outstanding individuals. And we thank God for our women. Amen. Now, one thing about the sea star is it can regenerate. Amen. And that's a little bit like you ladies. Amen. If you correctly cut a sea star into four pieces, you will not kill that sea star. Uh, you will end up with four living sea stars. Amen. Isn't that incredible? If someone bites one of their, I forget what they call them, legs or arms or whatever you want to call them, if they get bitten off, they will absolutely regrow that whole thing clear out to the tip. And at the tip, it has an eye in there to look around on each one of their five uh, fingers, if you will. MCC ladies are capable of duplicating themselves in others. Amen. Uh, they're willing to teach. The Bible says that let the older women teach the younger women. Amen. And uh, true uh, women uh, of MCC uh, may get attacked every now and then. Uh, maybe the way you look, maybe the way you talk. Maybe uh, an opinion you might hold about creation or uh, other things. Uh, you may be under attack, and you may get damaged, and you may be cut up in pieces. That won't destroy you because you're MCC ladies, and you will go on, and you will duplicate yourselves in others. I like that. I love uh, the ladies of this church uh, very much. Sea stars can hold their breath for 30 seconds. More than five minutes means a death sentence for them. So you can see that if you are on the beach and the tide is going out and the waves keep coming in and splashing, uh, these things can hold their breath in between the waves. But when that wave comes in and splashes on them, that gives them new hope for life. And a lot of people in the world, we don't know it, but the waves and the tide are getting ready to move out to sea for them. Life is coming to an end. Many people don't realize the day that they die that their life is coming to an end. MCC ladies get that. And they understand that they have a sense of urgency because as uh, the loved ones that we have uh, are on the beach, so to speak, and they're only going to live for a certain amount of time. And life comes along and gives them a little bit of breath every now and then. That they, those waves keep coming in. But as the tide moves out, the waves come in and also move out. And that exposes them. And eventually, uh, they uh, expire. And so, uh, we need to have a sense of urgency in the church uh, for uh, the people out there in the world. We have a prodigal son's jar here uh, where there's names of many uh, men and many ladies in there uh, that we love and care about. And we need to remember them on Mother's Day uh, always. MCC may, ladies may not be able to save the whole world, but they can and will make a difference in everyone around them. So uh, when you pick up one star, one starving person along uh, the ocean side and you throw that back into the sea, you're giving life to a person. And really, isn't that our job? Uh, Jesus said, I came into the world to seek and save that which is lost. And that was his job. First the Jews and then 
the Gentiles. Aren't you glad he included us? Hallelujah, hallelujah. A little bit of information for you ladies that may be having a little back pain or maybe some shoulder pain or some uh, neck pain or uh, maybe uh, you're concerned about wrinkles. Is there any ladies in here concerned about wrinkles? I'll tell you, I got one of those uh, five times power mirrors. I thought this is going to be great. This is going to be great. I'm going to love that. And uh, cause you know when you're trimming around your ears, and you're trying to get all the hair, you, you can't see it quite as good without your glasses. You can't take them off, you know. And so I picked up that five times power uh, glasses. I'm just about scared myself. I'm wondering who is that old man in there with all those wrinkles. Praise God, when you pick up a five power a mirror and look at yourself, it does make you to realize that you can get wrinkles. But if you sleep on your side, scientists tell us that you're more likely to have wrinkles. If you sleep on one side or the other, or if you sleep face down, it's really bad because your face is pressed into a pillow. But if you sleep on your back, uh, with your face up, then the only thing you have to fight is gravity. So, uh, you don't have to fight that pillow on all the pressure of your body, uh, forcing yourself down on that pillow. Now, sea stars, you would think, since they have an armor shell, a very thick plate on their back, that they would sleep with their belly down. But they don't. They turn upside down and they sleep upside down. And they extend all their arms out just like that. They don't curl them up or anything. They sleep just like that. And scientists tell us that if we take the position of uh, the uh, uh, sea star, uh, then it's very likely uh, that our back pain can go away. It's very likely that uh, some of our neck pain that we have can go away. How many of you ever woke up with a a pillow, you, you had too many pillows and you woke up with a kink in your neck and it took all day to get that out of there. Well, uh, the sea uh, star has got that all figured out. He just lays flat on the sand on the bottom and extends all of his arm out. Can you imagine me trying to jump in bed at night and put one foot over here and one foot over there? And well, <laughs> well, I'd have to kick Sister Compton out of bed. And we'd have to both have queen side beds uh, to do that. But, uh, uh, but sometimes uh, above my head, uh, you know, I kind of do one of these things, put it on the forehead, and just kind of stretch my shoulders, and, and try to go to sleep, hang, uh, hanging on to the, uh, the rails of the, of the headboard, uh, some of those things, uh, I did that before I ever read this, and I thought, well, you know, that's pretty good, uh, but so if you sleep on your back, uh, you can reduce wrinkles, and so all that's important, that's uh, all important, it protects you against shoulder pain, uh, it may relieve lower back pain. Uh, it protects against neck pain. And it helps with wrinkles on their face. So not everybody can sleep like that. Uh, and I, I don't. I was kind of tickled when I was reading it because when I get in bed at night, uh, I pull the covers around me and I turn my pillow sideways and stick my head on it and the sides come up over my face and I put my hands down to the side and cover up because it's kind of chilly in the bedroom. Mm -hmm. Such a couple likes a chilly bedroom. Ooh. And so she looked over at me and said, you look like a mummy. <laughs> <laughs> and well, when I was looking at this, uh, reading the information on this, it said, if you, if you take the soldier's position in bed, uh, it's likely that you're going to have more problems. <laughs> so I'm uh, thinking, well, okay, I need to get rid of the soldier look and start uh, getting rid of that back pain. But uh, uh, MCC ladies are so amazing. And one thing I hate to do is I hate to see them in pain. Uh, let's go to 2 Timothy chapter 1 and have a look at one verse there, verse 5. Uh, so important as we get ready to close out here in the next five minutes. Uh, as we look at this, uh, uh, 2 Timothy Chapter 1, verse 5. Uh, Paul is speaking here. Of course, Paul is a great family man, but he didn't have any of his own children, but he had a lot of good friends in the church. Amen. Uh, look at this. Paul is speaking. 
He said, when I call to remembrance the unfeigned faith that is in thee. He's talking to Timothy, the son, which would be the grandson, which dwelt first in thy grandmother, Lois, and thy mother, Eunice. And I am persuaded that in thee also. Amen. Grandmother, first of all, had a good dose of God in her life. Amen. And she passed that on to her daughter, Eunice. And then as she had a good dose in her life and a sincere faith in her heart, and she passed that along to her son, Timothy. Amen. I know sometimes faith is planted in our hearts when we're young. And uh, as we get older, we have a tendency to walk away and take a look at the gold and the glamour of the world. Uh, but then eventually, uh, I look back and I see uh, my mom was a Christian. Her mother was a Christian. Her mother was a, a spirit-filled Christian. And uh, her mother was a spirit-filled Christian. So we have... Of course, my son, Keith, is a Christian, and Kelsey and Carson are Christians. And so there's five or six generations right there of people that, uh, so you can make a difference, ladies. And if, if you fail as a mother, well, maybe you can do something as a grandma. You know? I mean, it, it works that way. You know? And so uh, generations keep coming and keep going. And I believe that you can make a difference. Our MC ladies are absolutely fantastic, and we love you so very much. I want you to think of yourself as a land star, that you're, you're not out in the sea, you're not floating around the bottom of the water. Uh, but I look at the word stars, and I remember something, that S stands for sister. T stands for that. A stands for R. R, A R E. Uh, R stands for really, and S stands for spiritual. MC sisters that are really spiritual. Amen. So we appreciate you all. Uh, you're not just loved by Sister Conkle and I, uh, but you're also liked by us. We like you. Amen. You're not just loved by God, everybody in this building today, but you're also liked by God. Amen. And uh, you have unique abilities and a distinct purpose designed for your life by God. And your voice matters to me. Your voice matters to God. Uh, when you say something and you're troubled, God hears that, ladies, and he is going to help you. You're valuable. You are indispensable part of the body of Christ. You are cared about and loved as sisters in Christ. Amen. So as you think about the star, uh, the star the fish we call it, but it's a sea star. As you think about that sea star and relate it to your life, uh, remember uh, you're the one walking down the beach and you're the one seeing the, uh, the star sea stars that are about ready to perish and it's up to us church uh, to pick up those no matter what they look like they may have seaweed all over them they may, not look, they may be dirty looking but just pick them up you know they can only hold their breath in between the waves and they're only going to last out there when the tide goes out five minutes so you don't have a lot of time now the tide goes out slow and the waves if it's a real windy day the waves keep coming in and keep helping them as long as they can. But can you see the desperation uh, that I'm trying to, to get out to you? There's a lot of souls. Amen. Marmette and, 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 and uh, Charleston, Canal City are infested with the drugs and all the things that are going on in our world today. Horrible things are going on in our world. And uh, people are desperate. People are dying. Since I've uh, been here, we've had about 14 uh, people uh, between the ages that I know of that were related to the church uh, that are from the age of 18 to 40 that have died on 
drug overdoses. Some of them have been at the altars of this church. Some of them have stood on the platform and sang songs. Amen. Uh, many people uh, have been in need, but the, the waves are coming in and the tide is going out. Amen. And this, uh, the sea stars are dying. Amen. The Bible says it's appointed unto man once to die. And after that, the judgment. So we, we're living in a world that is uh, a fast coming to an end. And we appreciate uh, what God is doing at the church. And uh, to our wonderful ladies again, and we love you and we're proud of you. And the ladies that are here today that we don't know as well as some of the others, we're thankful for you too. And we're so thankful for everybody uh, that is here today. And we expect you'll have a good day, amen. Hopefully your children, if possible, will take you out to eat or bring you nice gifts or call you on the phone and let you know you love them. Uh, so it's very important to um, love your mother and love, show that love to your sisters in the church. So very important, Sister Carol comes as we close out here today.